let's talk about genetic testing for ADHD. So one of the things you probably know about ADHD is that it's usually, it comes in conjunction with other things. There's what's called comorbidities, right? So for instance, you could have ADHD, but you could also have anxiety. And those two things can interplay, but they're also, you're given separate diagnoses for these things. And if you have one of these, it might also mean that you can't have certain drugs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so what genetic testing does is it's gonna give us a complete whole picture of what's actually going on for you at a biochemical and a physiological level. This is why I chose to do neuroscience instead of psychology. I actually think there are a lot of problems with the way that the whole DSM diagnosis stuff works. Having an understanding of what's underpinning a condition or multiple conditions is so, so empowering. So for me, I recently got this done. Now, what I found out was basically my whole, like all the genes that were tested for around things to do with my brain and outside of that as well, are linked with ADHD or at least ADHD symptoms. I've also suffered from OCD symptoms in the past. I've suffered from depression in the past, like clinical di uh, depression. I've been in therapy for years. Anxiety, driving anxiety. So what this did was it told me why, which to me and like a lot of us who identify as neurodivergent, we want to know why this is happening. And the answer of, well, that's just the way your brain works to me isn't good enough because I want to know specifically, okay, if this gene isn't working, what's going to happen? It's like a factory, right? It's like there's parts of the factory where something's not happening properly. One of the genes that I have means like basically I just don't produce enough neurotransmitters. But what I also found out was another gene that I have that is also linked with ADHD helps to like keep dopamine sticking around in my brain. And one of the symptoms that I experience the most is hyperfocus. Hyperfocus has got me in trouble so many times and I've experienced burnout a lot, especially when I was running my own business. Now the empowering part of this is once you understand, okay, this gene is the one that's having trouble doing the thing, then you can go, okay, what does that gene need? So for instance, for me, a couple of things that are really important is like methylated folate and B12. That might not be the same for you and what your flavor of ADHD or neurodivergence is. Now, this isn't an either or thing, okay? So you don't have to be like, I'm either gonna do the genetic testing or I'm gonna go get the proper diagnosis thing. You can do both. What the genetic testing also will tell us is what sort of meds are more likely to work because not all the same meds work for the same people, especially in adults. We're more limited with the tools that are being used at a pharmacological level. So having the genetic test, so, so empowering. There's a few ways you can do this. So you can go to consumer facing websites, just literally search genetic testing. Um, and if you want specifically just ADHD, you can search for that. Two, I did like a wider screen because I wanted to know more about what was going on. The one I did is a practitioner only one. It's one that I can refer for. So if you want to find out more about how that one works, you can also book in a coaching session with me. I'm going to be doing way more about this stuff. So make sure you hit the follow button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel on my profile because I'm going to do like an in-depth video that's really tricky for me to do on TikTok where it'll be like animation, it'll be interesting, it'll be engaging, I promise. So make sure you also subscribe there. And yeah, like in the meantime, let me know what do you think of genetic testing? Would you get it done? Have you got it done? Was it helpful? Um, pop your ideas in the comments. If you have questions, put them in the comments. I'll get back to them in a future video. All right, cheers guys.